Welcome to the second part of the topic, what does an inverter do? In part 1, we showed you the different components of an inverter. We also explained what their functions are. In part 2, we will be discussing the different types of inverter and what they do. Types of inverter. There are three types of inverters. 1. Square wave inverter. The square wave is a simple inverter. It converts a DC power signal to a shifting AC power. It gives out the power as a square wave. They are very cheap compared to others. But the square wave inverter is very rare. This is because not many appliances operate on a square wave. You cannot connect a sine wave appliance to it. The reason is that it could damage the appliance or even cause a fire outbreak. Due to this, most people do not use it. Unfortunately for this type of inverter, most appliances do not run on its wave. Almost all the electrical appliances in the market are made to work on sine wave. 2. Modified sine wave inverter. Compared to the square wave inverter, this is a more complex inverter. But it is simpler than the sine wave inverter. The type of electrical current it gives out has a combination of the other two types of an inverter. It is not actually in a square form and neither is it a pure AC power. Its current doesn't shift abruptly, but it is not straight. 3. Pure sine wave inverters. This is the most complicated of the three types of inverter. However, it is also the most widely used type. Its output voltage is like that released by an electric generator or the grid supplied electricity. It does not mix with any other type of wave. That is why it is called a pure sine wave. The reason why it is very popular is that most appliances use this type of electrical current. Mode of operation. Inverters can also be classified based on their mode of operation. The different operational classes are. 1. Standalone inverters. This type of inverter works on its own. It gets its power from an attached storage battery. They are independent of the grid. 2. Grid connected inverters. This type of inverter is permanently connected to the grid. Its main function is to convert power from the solar panel. When converted, some of the electricity will be sent to the local grid for storage. When the panel cannot generate power, the stored power is used to power the house. 3. Bimodal inverters. Unfortunately, grid-connected inverters are not reliable. This is because there can be a power outage at night. And your solar panel will be down by then because of this, there is the third type of inverter called a bimodal inverter. As the name suggests, it has a dual source of power. It is connected to both the local grid and the battery. This helps to make the power more regular. The most used inverters are the grid-connected inverters. What does an inverter do? The relevance of an inverter transverses various spheres of life. They include homes, offices, recreational vehicles, marine, military sectors, emergency backup, etc. Let us look at some of them. Inverter in solar technology. The solar technology is on a steady increase. Solar energy is the fastest growing source of power in the world today. The benefits of solar energy are so enormous that it is quickly spreading all over the world. The solar panels generate power from the sun. The panel has photovoltaic cells PV. These PV cells have receptors which they use to trap the solar energy contained in the sun rays. This solar energy is then converted to electric energy. But the form of electricity that the panel generates from the solar energy is in the DC power direct current form. However, our electrical appliances are made to run on AC power alternating current. There are differences between the two forms of currents. The DC power cannot be transmitted to a long distance, but it can be stored in a battery for future use. On the other hand, the AC power can be transmitted to a far distance but it does not have the capacity of being stored. That is where the inverter steps in. What makes up a complete solar system are the solar panels, the inverter, and the solar battery. After converting solar power to electric power, the panel sends the electricity to the inverter. 
The inverter receives it as a DC power and transforms it into AC power. It also amplifies the DC power volt to the voltage level that electrical appliances can use it. Inverter in recreational vehicle RV, trucks. Owners of recreational vehicles and truck drivers are prone to traveling far distances. Sometimes their traveling takes them to remote areas that may be off the grid. The inverter is the solution to such an otherwise difficult situation. The inverters are connected to the battery of the vehicle. Or you may have a separate battery that is connected to the inverter. The inverter converts the DC power of the battery to AC power that electrical appliances can use. Portable devices. The world has had a lot of technological revolution. This has led to a lot of devices being fitted with mini-sized inverters. Fans, refrigerators, air conditioners, etc. now have inverters fitted into them. This makes them use power more efficiently. The inverter regulates their power usage while producing optimum performance from them. This in return reduces the power usage of this appliance. Thereby, reducing the electricity bill. For multiple power sources and voltages. The importance the inverter has to solar technology has not been exhausted yet. In storing solar energy, apart from storing it with a battery, there's another way to store it. And that is by net metering. Net metering is when you send the excess power generated by the solar panels to the electricity grid. When this is done, the electricity company will credit you for the power sent. When there is no power, the power that was saved with the electricity grid will then be drawn, according to the credit save. The function of the inverter in this process is to send the power to the net meter. This is done just the same way that power is being sent to the battery. In a case where the appliances have voltage issues, the inverter can also be used to solve the problem. The inverter has a mechanism that regulates the power output. With this regulation of current, the issue of unstable voltage is taken care of. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site, www.zaminverter.com for more awesome, inverter content like this.